All right, thank you, Dave. Well, the latest round of pretrial hearings in the murder case of two Effingham County teenagers was wrapped up. Elwin Crocker Sr. faces murder charges in the deaths of his own son, Elwin Crocker Jr., and his daughter, Mary Crocker. Their bodies were found buried in the family's backyard in 2018. Our Flint Snyder had the only camera in the courtroom today and has this story. Crocker's defense team is asking a judge to block evidence from searches and seizures of their client's property, claiming those were a violation of his Miranda rights. They're arguing that by the time members from the Effingham County Sheriff's Office read Crocker his Miranda rights, he had already confessed to concealing Mary's death. The defense says the warrant to search Crocker's property came from information he gave before being read his Miranda rights. It can't be used to justify getting a search warrant. It's fruit of the poisonous tree. So at the very least, I think that the court has to exclude anything that they obtain from that December 20th search. Three members of the sheriff's office testified yesterday that they did not detain Crocker at first and that he freely went in for a recorded interview. They say while taking a smoke break during that interview, Crocker told them about Elwin Jr. being buried 10 feet away from Mary. That's when sheriff's office members say they read Crocker his Miranda rights and took him into custody, testifying that no evidence was obtained without a search warrant. Prosecutors say all search warrants in the case fit with how previous cases in Georgia have worked. The entire interview is admissible. There's, there's no Miranda violation under Abbott here. Uh, he was not required to be Mirandized until he was in custody, and he wasn't in custody until after that smoke break. Yeah, for his part, Crocker did not say anything during the two-day hearing. Reporting in Springfield, Flint Snyder, WTOC News.